Alexander McGillney's defection from the Soviet Union to the NHL in 1989 stands as one of the most significant moments in sports history. It was a move that challenged the status quo, broke barriers, and had a lasting impact on international hockey. Born in 1969 in Russia's Far East, Alexander McGillney showcased exceptional hockey talent from a young age. He quickly rose through the ranks of Soviet hockey, joining the prestigious Red Army team at the heart of the Soviet hockey program. Under the tutelage of the legendary coach Viktor Tikhanov, Magelny became a star, known for his incredible speed and skill. He was part of the Soviet Union's national team, and achieved significant success, including a gold medal at the 1988 Winter Olympics. The Soviet Union was renowned for its formidable hockey program, a source of national pride. Governed by strict state control, the Soviet hockey system was an integral part of the country's propaganda machinery during the Cold War era. Soviet players were subjected to rigorous training regimes and were often isolated from the Western world, both ideologically and physically. The late 1980s marked a period of transformation in the Soviet Union. Mikhail Gorbachev's policies of glasnost and perestroika led to a softening of the rigid structures that had defined Soviet society. This shift provided a backdrop for the eventual migration of Soviet hockey players to the NHL. The decision to defect was as much a personal choice for Magilny as it was a statement against the restrictive Soviet sports system. Athletes were often used as political tools, with their freedom severely limited. For Magilny, defecting offered not just the chance to play in the world's best hockey league, but also an opportunity for personal freedom and self-determination. McGillney's defection was a meticulously planned operation, fraught with risk and uncertainty. In May 1989, during the World Championships in Sweden, McGillney made his bold move. With the help of agents and representatives from the Buffalo Sabres, the team that drafted him in 1988, McGillney slipped away from his team hotel and sought asylum in the United States. His defection was a dramatic escape from the watchful eyes of the Soviet regime, but McGillney's defection wasn't without challenges. He faced a whirlwind of media attention, political scrutiny, and the difficulty of adapting to a new culture and language. There was also the emotional burden of leaving his family behind, and the uncertainty of their future given his actions. Additionally, there was the pressure of being one of the first Soviet players in the NHL, carrying the weight of expectations and the gaze of both his new and former countries. McGillney brought a level of skill and finesse that was relatively uncommon in the league at the time. His playmaking ability, combined with his speed and scoring prowess, quickly made him one of the most exciting players to watch. McGillney's success helped pave the way for others like Sergei Fedorov, Pavel Bure, and Igor Larionov to join the NHL. The skill and flair of Soviet and Eastern European players added a new dimension to the game, captivating fans and inspiring a generation of players. The influence of these players can be seen in the increased emphasis on speed and skill in modern hockey. McGillney's defection also had far-reaching implications beyond the realm of sports. It symbolized a crack in the Soviet Union's control over its citizens and athletes. In the broader context of the Cold War, McGillney's move can be seen as a part of the larger tapestry of events leading to the thawing of Cold War tensions and the eventual dissolution of the Soviet Union. McGillney went on to have an illustrious NHL career, including a 76-goal season in 1992-93. His courage to defy the constraints of his time to pursue his dreams in the NHL not only shaped his destiny but also transformed the world of hockey. His legacy extends beyond his impressive statistics. McGillney remains a symbol of the triumph of individual freedom over systemic constraints, embodying the spirit of perseverance and the pursuit of excellence against all odds. But despite his incredible achievements on and off the ice, McGillney is still waiting to be enshrined in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Let me know if you think McGillney deserves a spot in the hall, and make sure to hit the subscribe button for more hockey history.